right, today we're going to be playing a chill round with somebody, and I got to do a little pandering. It's all about the Eagle Envy, baby. He's still throwing lefties. I think I still got him. We'll talk about his recovery. Watch him absolutely smoke some lefty shots, which is going to be very embarrassing for me because it's going to be as far as my ready shots. I got some fun stuff in here. I got some testers from Infinite. Might throw something else with him for tomorrow's video, and then this is actually made the bag. The D-string. The monotype disc. Because I like the origin, but it's almost too close to like a Pathfinder for me. But you don't care about that. You want to see Eagle. So, I'm going to say what's up to him. I brought this just for you. Dang. I'm a little scared. Is that just to warm up your shoulder? Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. Are there like Kendama Pros? You back at righty putting? I think so. I've been righty putting in my garage. It's a lot different animal when you're out on the course, but I think within the circle, I'm gonna be putting righty today. Oh man, that was righty. I got in the way, but that was righty. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. I need to ask Andrew, my team manager, if I can show this disc. This whole thing might be redacted right now. Yes. Ooh. This can't be said. I think you'll be impressed. Uh, <laughs> Your mic fell on the ground, I shanked it. Everything that could, I think I counterweighted you too much with the mic. Oh, did you hit it? I think I hit it. Okay. Maybe, let's try, let's try the hat. Sure. If we're gonna try out this Pathfinder, I'm gonna have a series coming out soon, probably early next week, four days in a row, when I'm like figuring out my putters, mids, fairways, and drivers, similar to what Eric Oakley did when he joined Infinite. I think I'm getting pretty close to what I'm gonna bag. And I think the Pathfinders might somehow make it, and I might be a four mid player this year instead of three. There it is. Oh yeah. All right, this is my first throw. Yep, first throw. <laughs> Little Neutron Resistor. Oh, this is, definitely can tell it's my first throw. Is that a righty or lefty? From, from there. From like that distance? What is it, what's like your distance in the lefty? I don't know, I, I'm gonna try to do some pitch ups from like around 100 feet with the glitch today. Some glitch ups? I gotta start stressing it a little bit. Yeah. And uh, I think I'm in a good position to start stressing it. Do you think but, they made the Axiom pitch so that you could call pitch up, pitch up, and then you can call glitch up, glitch up? Yes. <laughs> Shout out Infinite, they told me to keep this a little bit on the DL, so putting it in a v video with Eagle in it is very DL for looks me. Looks like a wombat. Yeah, it's a, uh, here, check it out. It is very wombat. -like. From what I've heard, it's... Oh yeah. Oh! That's the kind of disc you want to throw off a mountain and just watch it glide. I don't know if we're supposed to say the name or not yet, I think it might be the one that just got approved, maybe not, who knows. I thought it'd flip harder and like move more, right? Maybe I didn't connect with it, but a pretty normal five speed. I almost thought it'd be closer to a six speed, but it might not be. We'll see. I'm pumped with a glitch. <laughs> Gotta float it up there. He's back, wow. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's a scary putt. sight. It's nice to convert. Andrew, he said he didn't like me very uh, much. I'm gonna say. He said not on that guy's channel. <laughs> I'm checking if I can even throw it. Ooh, 401. Little head left to right, sneaky. Is this mayhem? This is a mayhem, yep. Ugh. Cold fingers. Oh, this wind is kind of rude for this hole. Ah, two nose up. It's too far, too far to throw. That's so good. Jeez. This is the like non disc, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Neutron. Buddy. All right, it's time to let the pandering begin. Look what's been in my bag the whole time since you gave it to me, not just for today, but like the oh, whole time. The whole entire time. I feel honored. Yeah, now I'm gonna ace it. You better. Or, or what? Or else you're gonna not get an ace. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try this disc. Neutron Hex from Jack M. For the first time ever. For the first time ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. I can make that putt. Oh, two left. Weak. All right, this is my opportunity to make the Nomad look good. I don't want to disappoint James Conrad. Oh, I disappointed him. Oh no. Only mildly disappointed him. He's actually enraged like those compilations on that's one of he did one of those when he saw you missed that. Oh no. Oh my gosh. 
Oh no. That's like not even righty putt range. All right, we are we're showing this disc pretty good. Go get one when they drop tomorrow. We're really making you want to do that, I'm sure. Will this be out tonight? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's better. Hmm. Right. You can par from there. I'm trying to like figure out what my limits are right now. Yeah. What do you think of when you are putting? Because I think my problem right now is I'm like working on my putt and trying to find a putter. And then when I go to putt, there's like 16 things in my head and my mind is never calm. If I'm thinking about something when putting, yeah, that's an issue. Mm. It's like you should. Do you think focus about, on anything you or just about empty your, your mind? Well, of course you're thinking about all that could go right or could go wrong. Mm -hmm. But I like, when I'm playing my best, it's like, yeah, I assess the situation. I know what's at stake. But then when I step up, I'm letting my practice take over. Yeah. And as much as I can phase out everything that's going on, that's going to be the best for me because I've put in millions of reps. So just let that, yeah, that take over. Stop thinking about it. If you watch basketball players, like anybody who's worth a damn, like shooting a free throw, yeah, they probably look down, they dribble a few times, and then they shoot the shot. Yeah. They have their, their routine that they adhere to, and it's no different in disc golf. If you have a, for me at least, it's I look down, take a deep breath, uh -huh. and then I like to do about three pump fakes towards the basket, mm -hmm. and then release. Hmm. It's like if I just do that, and even if I miss, I can kind of convince myself like, okay, the very least, I did what I needed to do by yeah. following my routine. That's good. I'll have to develop one of those. What time? Boogie. Drift, 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 drift. Boogie. Mm, good good line, bad height. All right. Eagle envy. Oh, sink it. Oh. Go too far. One pump, two pump, three pump, four pump. Dang. That was a four pumper. You're thinking too much. I did not think enough on that putt. <laughs> I just thought about how if I miss a putt, I'm going to be cleaning my disc off for a while with all the mud. <laughs> you throw over the mud, but you're good. Yep. That reminds me. Did you ever watch the when Simon and I did the mystery box video out here? It was right before we left the MVP. It was Dismania mystery box. Um, we played like a 10 hole challenge here. Mm -hmm. There was a camera on us, but. If you saw everything but that video, oh my gosh. It might have been the funniest shoot I've ever, we've ever done. What happened? We were throwing so bad. <laughs> and when we were just talking up the mystery box, for some reason we couldn't take our, each other seriously. Oh my gosh. You can kind of see it if you go back and watch it. But yeah. Did you guys know that he was leaving at that point? Well, I knew Simon was leaving, but I, I was on the team. On 18, he was throwing the DD1 Stratosphere. We had to refilm it three times because it flipped over and rode about as far right as it possibly could. And it took us literally an hour to finish shooting that hole because we had to keep going out, looking for his disc, and then coming back. And it's like not good stuff to look in. It's just like oh, tall and it, grass. There was, there was like, Significant amount of snow on the ground, too. It was muddy then, and it's muddy now. <laughs> Big like, skip. Mud skip. Is that one of those super lightweight fireballs? Yeah. Caleb was throwing one of those earlier today, in oh, tomorrow's video. They, they do not seem like fireballs. They are not, no. They seem like more of a stable wraths. Exactly. I've never even thrown a wrath, so. Good guess. Oh, sit. Yikes. Not slip. Right in the mud. The circle two glitches and circle one nomads, is that the rule? For right now, yes. <laughs> nice and close, like I like it. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm so glad we're just doing something casual today. Need a rest, which is what the next three days are, luckily. Oh, uh, okay. Time to start getting in the circle. See if the servo can save me. I think the servo did save me. That looks parked or long. Or in the basket. Now we're talking. It's like a good test range for the for the righty. Exactly. 
I think today's just turning into the Eagle Envy day. You only ever throw the Eagle Envy. Oh yeah. It's a little short, I think. Oh, that's parked. No, it's not. Yeah, kind of. Threw as a testy boy. Oh wow. Oh yeah. That's flippy. You do that same shot off a mountain. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that would have gone thousands of feet. Even better. Starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm I'm having a looser grip. And it's helping out a bit. Let's see if the servo can do it for me again. This could be the round where I fully fall in love with the servo. And then you go back to throwing righty, and then what happens? I still love the servo. <laughs> I already do really like the servo. I think I it might be that round. Wow. Well, that's almost an ace run. Servo is the disc, guys. You know, is really the disc? The Eagle Envy. That is, that's, that's another disc. It is another disc, yeah. <laughs> that's definitely another disc. <laughs> One of them that's out there. It's more stable than I keep thinking it is. Into a right to left wind. And we're in Colorado. <sighs> that one day we were throwing it was not as overstable as I'm making it look right now. What do you think like realistic golf distance is by the time you get back into the season? Um, I'll be happy to at least say my proposed start date is Champions Cup. Um, by then I'm hoping to have at least 500. Um, I'd say I'm only going to be throwing up to 70 to 80 percent until like I am greasing the groove where I'm feeling comfor comfortable gaining some momentum. Mm -hmm. uh, but hopefully by OTB, uh, Portland Open, I'm throwing around 550, 600. I think mm -hmm. that's generally uh, pretty fair to say because with backhand, like while I had my shoulder injured, I was throwing backhand completely fine. So like all the the muscles and ligaments are intact. It yeah. just needs to like establish that strength again and tell my body that, all right, we're twisting, we're firing these muscles. So I would say for most of this year, like I'm gonna be throwing like 80%, uh, but 80%, with the right wind, the right disc, gyro technology, that could be 550, 600 feet. So, yeah. uh, only time will tell. Yeah, I almost imagine you might even throw farther as you feel 100% healthy, because I hope so. Of course, <laughs> like, of course, you could still throw even with the labrum tear, the backhand, but there has to be something, either neurologically or muscularly, that like, right. Just, like, there has to be something that is slightly different with that labrum tear, even if most of it is the exact same. Well, I would imagine. Maybe not. But. The thing is, it was a labrum tear, but I think uh, it's less of that than what we, what I thought. Because hmm. what they did, there was a lot of laxicity in the joint. So they went in and tightened up the whole shoulder capsule just from right subluxing it from doing various activities that yeah. may or may not have even been disc golf related. So <laughs> <laughs> probably disc golf related to a, a large degree, but... Uh, <laughs> There's other things to do in life other than disc golf, surprisingly. I haven't heard of that. <laughs> Downhill on my side. These specific nomads are like, compared to the other ones I have, are like big bead nomads. <laughs> like feeling his nomad versus these, like the bead is massive. The bead is what caught on the rim and made the putt, so <laughs> thank you bead. Here. Oh, and, ah. Trying to beat those in. Ooh. See how this thing handles wind. Grr. <laughs> Interval into the wind. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That should be good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's over there somewhere, by the way. I'm just going to throw it and hope I'm close. It's That's like, all disc golf is. That's like right? how I play disc golf, yeah. Dad, point at the basket. Thank you. Prism Proton Pyro. <laughs> Lift. Gotta go, gotta go. Dang it. This whole place far in the wind. I need a little watt miracle right now. Ooh. Sheesh. This is a lot shorter than I thought it was. Nailed it. 
This one I got two birdies in a row. I got bogey for no reason. So, drop water bottles out of the bag. There we go. Angry at the weatherman right now, saying that it's supposed to be 53 degrees today. Is that the PP pyro? The PP pyro. Paige Pierce pyro. I was thinking the kindergarten way of saying it, but yeah, that too. Go. Eagle envy, of course. It's pandering at this point. Oh, what the? That throw never happened. That's better. Give it to Papa. <laughs> uh. Sorry. Yeah, that was a little little rage monster right there. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Didn't know he had so much anger inside of him. Oh, don't watch me play Kandama. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Awesome. Oof, mud is butt. We're gonna try out the little tester. I literally left it on a hole. This is like, there's like 10 of these, I think he said when he sent it to me. And so I almost just left it on a random hole. Tailwind 345 up the hill. Actually commit to a shot. Ah! Jeez, man. Throw a good one. Every time I've thrown the servo, it's been a good throw. Nope, that trend has ended. The trend has ended. We're gonna try a peace train. Similar shot to the last one, just actually good. I've been thinking about the cat Stevens. It's better. But better, I mean, park. <laughs> that is crazy, man. Ooh, running. Are you ready to be done playing lefty for a while? Do you think you'll keep like playing it sporadically or are you just gonna, you have to take a break once you get your righty hand back? I don't know. I, it'd be nice to like continue to improve it, but when you're throwing right handed shots and actually getting to see the disc fly far and shape lines with more ease, it's gonna be hard to keep myself motivated to keep using it. But I think in terms of like distant shots, like if I can sprinkle some lefty practice in here and there to keep improving it. I think that's uh, something I would like to strive to do, but only time will tell. Oh, that's off axis torque right there. Yeah. You haven't had that in your right hand in a while, huh? <laughs> that's when you're trying to protect your shoulder. Huh, that makes sense. Instead of like that whip motion, you're just trying to like guide it. Yeah, I never heard it put that way, but it makes sense. Throwing with no pain first time even attempting to throw any sort of right-handed in months so it's positive so sick. this tester mid-range is nice very similar i think to the peace train mana s disc this is the peace train by the way bottom of your screen there we go he's so good at disc golf flappy bird <laughs> flappy bird <laughs> gotta get someone to die that on a putter actually you probably don't want them to die that on a putter i do not want that die on a putter oh i am pulling everything keep it in line Hard to take anything good when your shoulder doesn't want to work for you. Got to rest up. Good news, first day I'm feeling it. But that's the time that you need to rest. This might be a righty hole for you with the right glidey disc. Maybe. Oh my gosh. He smacked it. Oh, that could work. Could this be my... Birdie. That might my, be a righty birdie. The first righty birdie of 2024. Oh my gosh, this might be a big moment. That was awesome throw. What do I get if I ace with your envy? You get this Kendama. Ooh, let's go. I've never even used one before, so I really need it. Counter skip, big counter skip. Ugh. No faith in my abilities right now. I'm gonna try a lefty throw. What are the keys to throwing lefty? Do what you do on your oh, right parked. side, but mirror it. I but I do it on. But I do it bad on the right side. So like you don't do it bad on the. right I noticed too recently because I've I've been only doing backhand stuff since I went and like trained with Drew in October, and so I recently got back into a little bit of like like kettlebell stuff, and I've noticed my like my load on this hip. Is so good, and I think the reason why my forehand kind of sucks right now is my load on this hip. Like it doesn't know what to do anymore because I haven't done it in three months because I haven't thrown any forehands. Right. And so that's gonna. Ugh. Oh gosh. You got distance. It's not bad. I'm, I'm gonna try that. Again. That's kind of fun actually. Mess up both my shoulders instead of just one of them. You know. 
Dude, my my hand feels so weird. Oh, I yeah, it's oh. like a tightness in your palm. It's like tingly because the blood's uh -huh. coming to it and it never comes to it before. Right. You gotta clean that one up for the first righty birdie of the year. First of many. Yeah, better be many. <laughs> oh man. How did I miss it both sides somehow? Alright. I was nervous. I didn't want to disappoint the MV peeps. Righty or left, do you think? I I'm gonna end my righty reign today. End it on a good note uh, at I'm least. I gotta push my luck. Smooth. Get it. Ah. I don't want to disappoint you, James, but my hands are cold. This basket's high. So high. So I apologize in advance. Oh my gosh, flappy bird. No apology needed. Every time I miss a putt this year, I'm gonna say sorry, James. Are you for sure nomads this year? That's the best prospect, and yeah, 99% sure it's gonna be nomad. So like, you hate Simon? I was at, I I have some pixels in the practice basket and they do fly they do fly nice. So but not good enough for the bird, you know. I just I feel like the nomad is a little bit more aggressive. It has a little bit more stability. Yes. And when the pixel beats in, I feel like for my putting style it's going to be a little too floaty and a little bit too straight. Yep. Whereas when the nomad beats in, it's going to still have that check. So if I did putt with the pixel, I feel like I'd have to replace it like every two or three events. Whereas like the Nomad I can maybe keep one in the bag for like two or three months. So that's my logic. What the heck is going on? Open. Yeah, it just doesn't want to rotate at all right now. Internally, externally, nothing. Rest time, holy cow. The real question is how many times we're going to be seeing that on coverage this year since there's going to be backups. Yeah, probably not that much, honestly. <laughs> uh, I'll definitely make an appearance, but a lot of the times I feel easily distracted. I'm just so focused that like I, I forget my kendamas even in my bag. Yeah. Um, but it, it'll definitely make some appearances. Can the servo deliver? Actually, no, I'm not feeling it. Nope. Everybody wants to see the heck. When I mean everybody, I mean probably a decent amount of people. <laughs> Be more specific next time. <laughs> a very small majority of people want to see the small, The small majority. Yeah. Large majority of the gyro <laughs> not coming. And the peeps. They all want to see. But no one wants to see it be thrown like that. The haters do. The haters They really do. Fueled their fire. All right. Eagle Envy. I think I have like a 25% success rate of throwing today. Everybody wants to see that. Oh, yeah. Sit down. He got it on the... Perfect little shelf. Speaking of on the perfect little shelf, they're on the shelf tomorrow, <laughs> February 16th, at a retailer near you. Just kidding. They're drop. only at Infinite, actually. That's the only place you can buy them. The reason Infinite doesn't do pre sales is because they want you to be able to choose whichever disc you want so you can throw what you love, you know what I mean? But yeah, go ahead and choose whichever one you want tomorrow. I'll leave the link in the description today. And then you can go buy it at midnight, baby. Maybe midnight, I don't know what time, but tomorrow. So here's the real question. Um, where are the MV peeps? Like, what happened to that? That's still a thing. Is I it? just need to remember to say it. I'm still finding my groove, trying to figure out what I call people finding the right nomenclature for everything. The nomad clature? Uh, the nomad clature, exactly. Yeah. Sounds like you don't even believe in it anymore, honestly. The MV peeps? Yeah, you don't even believe in the MV peeps. I, I, I mentioned the MV peeps in this video already. Did you? Yeah, I think there's. Did you some, sometimes stamp I said it. If he did, I'm gonna cut it out so it looks like he didn't, but he probably did. I probably, I definitely <laughs> did. I did make it all the way over here. Jeez. Oh, Ready? that was cute. Oh, yeah. perfect. The perfect practice putt for my 2024 season. Nice putt. My shoulder, like, I realized on the last one, I airballed my last putt left, oh. and I realized my shoulder has, like, less than zero desire to like rotate a single bit like whichever line it's on like it's not going to externally rotate to finish the putt oh man which is like it just means it's tired luckily but it's also like oh compensate yeah i think you'll you'll love going to tommy yeah i'm really excited the putt definitely noticed like a huge uptick in uh in strength 
from mm. going to going to him. But really, it's like competing. It's like we're constantly tearing our bodies apart. Yeah, like twisting on the tee pad and doing it all year. Yeah. So like, he's helped me with the exercises I do on the road, and especially when I'm training with him, is to keep everything together in like the most effective way. Yeah. Possible. Glide. Are you throwing with a like a modified fan grip? Yeah. Because I kind of uh -huh. noticed you're you're flicking me off as he was reaching back <laughs> on that one. So. All right, chariot. Little tailwind. Three hundred. Next to the basket. Yeah. Ooh. That was a great run. That was a great man. Oh. It's in if it's a nomad. No, <laughs> that would be five feet short <laughs> if it was a nomad. <laughs> Slowing it down. Never really got the hot lab. Maybe I'll have to ask him about it. Touch yeah, a disc, the tomorrow. wind picks up. And touch a kendama, the wind picks up. You go on me, obviously. You gotta. Ah, it's holding it over. Dang. Oh, old. Dang. Oh, it's so short. Crushing on that thing. I haven't thrown a glitch in a while. Never thrown a huck glide glitch. <laughs> it's an even fancier one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that glide. Yeah. I don't know why I expected to throw it on a hyzer and have it fade towards the basket, but I definitely <laughs> did. This is the one eagle. It is? No, this this is I mean this is the one. Not the one. Over an hour to do all this and it drives me crazy. It's worth it though. What makes it worth it to you? To get it on video so I can look back and say that I did that trick. Is it kinda like a collecting cards or something where like you're collecting your ability to do tricks? I'd say that that notion parallels the the reasoning for sure this trick's called spacewalk which Ooh. is a tough trick but to get it on the spikes a lot easier than to get it to lighthouse which is yeah balance. these are outside tricks like i'm trying these out because we're outside right now and, and you don't hurt your hardwood floors <laughs> oh i've definitely hurt my hardwood <laughs> floors i don't know if this is out but i'm saying it is this is like that other putt you had in the other video there's nothing like that but this is that putt was definitely <laughs> Yeah, you're right. This one's 22 feet. <laughs> did it? Did you even need to do that? You didn't even make it. I. It's like you're trying to protect your shoulder that you just got surgery on or something. <laughs> Embarrassing. We're going like checkerboard with just the envy. Birdie par, birdie par, birdie par. So that means this is an ace. No! Get it higher! In straighter. I think it likes to go. All right. Can I actually get it inside the circle? That's the question. It's a big rip at the lot here. Oh my gosh. I've thrown it in the same spot every single time. Oh, oh dang. I notice, is there, are you not extending your elbow because that's like your, you don't want your shoulder to pop too much? I just keep, I'm just keeping everything soft right now. <laughs> Compact, no need to jeopardize your whole year at Coal Creek. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it could be worth it. No, it could not be worth it. It could, I mean, not at all worth it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest cap ever. 410, last hole. Eagle envy because it's downhill and a tailwind. If I throw a good shot, then I get to cut a promo. So that's good. Oh, look at that pop. I think he parked it. There it is. What a <laughs> way go. to finish. <laughs> I didn't really like it on my hands. So that's good. Is that the the Voldemort disc? That is Voldemort. It's gonna be short, I think. Uh, not too short, sorry. Final question. This is the hard hitting journalism. Why are you not in Florida this weekend? I am not in Florida because there is a team aspect to the All Star event, and while. Speaking of being selfish, if I went there, I felt like it would be more of my selfish desire to play rather than 
let someone else more capable, at least at the time being, um, to play the actual event. So Chris Dickerson filled in for me because with the shoulder, I feel like I didn't want to affect the team Calvin by playing extremely mediocre 930 disc golf. Um, but also, I have a routine here that it is best that I adhere to and keep the ball rolling for the start of my season, uh, which uh, is proposed to be Champions Cup. So that is why I'm not in Florida nice. currently. What do you think percentages are that you actually get to Champions Cup? I'd say a good like 80% 80, 80 chance. If I still maintain that trajectory that I feel like I'm on right now, I feel like that's a fair assessment. The past month I've noticed a lot of positive improvement. A month ago I wasn't even like thinking about throwing righty and I got my first righty birdie today. So you gotta take the, the victories as they come. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I feel like uh, I'm on a good pace right now. Like the fact that I'm even out here considering throwing any shots right-handed is a big win for me. And it's only gonna ramp up from, from this yeah. point forward. And it's what, two and a half months till Champions Cup? So there's time. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of time right now. Also, these Emmys are pretty good, guys. Uh, snag one tomorrow. At least I can make that part. Wow, dude. <laughs> make corrections. Bomb though. Emperor's are good. Sound like Eric Oakley. That shot, is that good? I don't know. Second putt, is that good? Oh, I look like Eric Oakley too. I'm just copying him with this thing. Just gotta copy cool people. All right, you here's the thing. Video's not gonna end until you land that trick. We're gonna be here till the start of the season. I'll let you do... mail my camera back home to me, so uh, I'll bill you for the extra hours of editing. Everybody wants to see. When I mean everybody, <laughs> one person in the Kandama community. Mm. I have like a list of hard, easy, like usually is I'll film like 10 minutes. If I don't get the trick, then I'll try a different one. And I don't get that one. And then I like gradually go down the, the levels of difficulty. It's like when you play like, a whole round and try it every hole for a whole round, how, how many minutes does that count for? It doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't count at all. There you no. go. He's going pro. That scared me. That like, honestly kind of scared me a little bit because I didn't expect the ring to get wrapped up in the thing. Oh, man. That's a little embarrassing. Sweet. Do we need to do an outro? Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>